So with that being said, the next concept to understand is direction. We understand how these polar forces work, what they do in the ex in, within ourselves and in the external world. We have to ask ourselves some basic questions about the direction of our lives and how we've lived, how we are living, and what we'll con if we continue on the path we're on, what we're likely to see in the future. So we're looking for our compass. We're looking for our emotional compass, okay? The direction that we want to set ourselves in in life. And we can do this, we can try to set this compass for direction by asking some basic questions. Are we moving toward an expression of love or are we moving toward an expression of fear? Both within and in the outside world. What, what one, which one of those basic polar forces are we really moving toward, if we are honest with ourselves? Based on our available knowledge of ourselves and the world around us, we have to make an honest appraisal of where we are and where we are headed. We have to have an understanding of the past. Not studying the past is, is extremely dangerous because those who don't understand what has happened in the past, it is very true that they are often doomed to repeat it in cyclical, in cycles, because they don't get the lesson. So an understanding of what happened in our past can help us to orient our direction for the future. We should learn from the past, from the mistakes of the past. But most importantly in the, uh, uh, analyzing uh, and trying to come to um, an understanding of what sets our direction in life. We have to really grasp and understand that our emotions are the most critical factor. Our emotions are our compass for direction in life. When we feel an emotion, it's because it's trying to tell us either continue to do that thing or do not continue to do that thing. The emotions are the compass. That's why it's called compassion. Compass is in the word. Compassion. Compass, passion, emotion. So our emotions are our compass for direction in life. If we numb them out, if we seek to not feel them, we're throwing our compass away and we're lost in the wilderness. So your emotions are there to be felt, not to be numbed out as many people are striving to do in the modern world. They're, uh, they're our, our guide, so to speak. They're our, our markers through the wilderness that we're in. And we need them and we need to cultivate them and feel them, not on them out.